moves pretty fast. Well, welcome back to video six in the EK video series. This video is gonna cover uh, preparation, priming, and painting of the engine bay. Okay, moving on to the worst part of the build for me. Um, I don't mind doing filler work, but engine bay filler work is a nightmare. Um, so obviously we welded all the holes up in the engine bay. That was all done. Uh, then we're obviously moving on to skimming everything. So we're skimming over all the spot wells, we're smoothing all the metal in, we're doing a lot of work there. Trouble is, a big flat area like a quarter panel, you can flat that pretty quick with a block. Engine base, all fingertip work, it just takes hours. If I had to guess, I'd say it was probably about 40 hours in filling this engine bay out.
okay the engine bay is all filled out just a little clip there just to show you you know the state we're in uh, before we start applying some primer Okay, at this point we handed the car over to Uncle Keith, finally in the paint shop. Uh, he's going for some primary here. We tried something a little bit different, mounting the camera on his spray gun, so let me know what you think. Okay, at this point we've uh, removed the car from the oven. We didn't get any footage of this, unfortunately. We've been very, very busy and we missed a couple of stages, but the vehicle was taken out from the oven. All the high-built primer was flatted. We then seam sealed all the edges anywhere that sort of needed it on the edge of the flitch panels or anything like that. Uh, and then the car went back in the oven for Uncle Keith to start putting some uh, colour on the car. So we're going to start with a black wet-on-wet -wet primer. Time coming this part, uh, Keith's going to start laying down some uh, nice blue Marina Bay base coat. I uh, can't tell you how much of a relief it was to finally see some colour going on the engine bay.
Clearco, uh, just a generic, normal sort of clear coat that you put on any car. Uh, we did add a little bit of blue metal flake to it to, uh, you know, really make the colour pop and finalise it. As we generally mean, Keith can't leave anything alone. Tell me how you're feeling since you got me out in the open. Now I'm ready to dive in. I told you it would be a slow burn Beating, hiding I've been calling out your name From the darkness Thinking it's too late If you're fainted I've been too much on your plate I'll keep hiding Calling out your name Calling out your name There you have it, the final result. Um, totally blown away with the result. I mean, it's always a lot of hard work and halfway through prepping an engine bay like that, you always question what you're doing. 
Uh, but the end result, so much better seeing it without holes and everything. It's something that people generally don't do when they're doing builds, uh, especially case swaps and stuff. They don't fill out the bay. They're just basically yeah, chuck an engine in. It does set aside from a, just a normal build, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.